So I've been staring at this purchase page on Steam for about 10 minutes. Uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm trying to figure out why... I'm trying to figure out what I'm feeling. Let me show you this video that they play while we're talking. Um, it's really... They call it satire, comedic satire, void of morality. But it's basically a bunch of people like Adolf Hitler, Trump, Jesus, Putin, Mussolini, going around and shooting social justice warriors, very flamboyant gay folks. It looks like Bernie Sanders supporters. There's a nightclub. Um... You know, I'm sure, you know, if they could get blacks and Jews in there without probably having a, you know, an uproar beyond what they already have, they probably would. Now, no one's going to mistake this for Ghost Tsushima in terms of quality. It's a piece of shit. Um, but this company, I guess, does a brisk business because they have a whole series of games like this. Uh, let's see. You can see them here. They're called Gen 2 Pro. And let's see. They have Jesus Strikes Back. Uh, they have a game where you are a Karen killing people. They have a game where you're Trump killing the media. They have a game that looks like you're shooting up a high school simp slayer. And this is on Steam. And, and I think this is okay to be on Steam. I think it's horrible. Terribly offensive. Uh, but, you know, games are art. Games are a medium of expression. So there's, I mean, there's two options for this, right? There's the option that the guys, and I assume they're guys, who made this are like 22 years old, 19, 18 years old, and they're like, fuck the establishment. We're kind of poking our fingers in the, in the faces of uh, all this political correctness. And, and obviously, I don't think anyone who makes this game wants this to happen. So I'm, I'm, sh I'm sure it's just an attempt at satire, an attempt at saying something, and also an attempt at being, you know, capitalistic to the point of going, there's a bunch of kids who will probably buy this and think they're getting away with something. So I get it. And even if it was purely literal and these people hated all the people they were shooting, they, sh they still have a right to make their stupid fucking game. They have to. You have to support. If you support free speech, you got to support speech that you hate. And I hate this speech. I despise this. It's disgusting. Of course, I'm going to buy it. It's five bucks. I'm going to buy it. I want to play it. And you're coming with me. Okay. Campaigns. Okay. You can be Jesus, Trump, Putin... Adolf Hitler, Mussolini, Napoleon, and I don't know who this guy is. Balcel Noro. Brazil. I guess he's the Brazilian dude. Okay, I'll be Trump, I guess. Liberal Heights. Like many NWO college campuses brainwashing students and forcing them to become violent communists, if you don't intervene, the kids of the future will be nothing brainwashed NPCs. <laughs> Okay, well, again, clearly this is not a good game, but... Okay, he can punch. Does he have any guns? I mean, wouldn't it be interesting? I mean, you know, if the people who are actually making this game literally feel... I mean, you know, I've talked to some of these... What the fuck? I've talked to some of these people on the stream before, and they literally feel that they're way of life is being attacked and that Trump's a guy who's You're gonna fucking cock. Pr protect them and uh, you know so maybe maybe for me I look at this and I think it's just horrific but maybe they look at this and go dude this is cathartic I don't fucking know I would hope not but my biggest problem right now is I don't have a weapon I mean that's terrible to say but I mean I'm trying to play a goddamn game You're a fucking white male Where's You're a white man I'm a white man without a fucking gun. I'll tell you that. Where's my fucking gun, dude? You know, it's really interesting because a lot of times we'll talk about, you know, storytelling in games and art in games and emotion in games. But within an instant, all of that stuff falls away and you're just looking at the experience as a mechanic. And it's so funny to me because it's ab... Down. It's ab... Is that all you got? No, I don't have anything because I have no guns. I have nothing. And But it's so interesting because, you know, when I'm watching, it's so interesting when I'm watching the movie, the trailer for this, it's offensive. It's hurtful. Um, it makes me sick. It makes me sad. 
um, for just how divided our country is and just how mean spirited certain people are. But the minute I kind of get behind the controls, all of that fades away. And I'm literally, you know, my brain is in mechanics land. I, I'm not, this isn't Trump to me. These aren't people who are probably like me, SJWs, which I'm totally an SJW. These are bad guys because they're trying to kill my avatar and I need to find a gun. But I, again, that's why a lot of people... A fucking cop. Well, thanks, sir. That's why a lot of people that complain about games need to play them before they complain about them because it's so easy to get caught up in the, the, the visual of things and the presentation of things and you don't really realize, it's like, dude, you're not even thinking about it that way when you're playing it. It doesn't make it right, doesn't make it acceptable, I'm just saying it's interesting. I'll tell you what, I won't pick Adolf Hitler I wouldn't, or Mussolini, I wouldn't do it. As a guy whose last name is Jaffe, there's no fucking way I'm playing that motherfucker unless I can put a gun in my mouth. And I know he's not real! Not my mouth, but his mouth. I know he's not real, it's a fucking video game, but I don't wanna play him, isn't that weird? Isn't that weird? No, I'm gonna play Adolf Hitler. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna fucking do it. Because it's disturbing. And that's, you know, I, I wanna experience that. I wanna experience that disturbing. If I could, you know what's more disturbing is could I please fucking, what is this game? Unequip all. Fix this shit right now! Something That's okay, I don't mind Hitler being the shit beat out of him. But it's weird though, because yeah, I'm not even thinking about him as Hitler. I'm just kind of like, I need to find my mechanics. I don't. I'm not gonna fucking do that. You strapped up? Oh, well, I'm glad he's got a roll. Okay, I put the cheat code in. So now let's see if we can make this work. Win, you people. You're gonna be sick and tired of winning. You're gonna say, Mr. President. What's going on, What's this? Yeah, can you believe this? That answers my question. I mean, this is fucking. Pulse nightclub, dude. I wouldn't. I couldn't do it. I wouldn't. If, if I knew how to play this game, I wouldn't play it. I mean, isn't that weird, though? Ooh, the colors are killing me. I'm just. Okay, so clearly I've figured out how to use the guns, finally. And now here I am in an abortion clinic. Wakey, wakey. So I'm playing this thing, and here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, I like shooting people in video games a lot. I was playing Max Payne the other day, Max Payne 3, and I'm like, you know, for its time, it kind of looked like this, right? It's like it totally didn't affect me. But for some reason, I don't want to shoot these people. I'm in an abortion clinic. These are doctors. These are patients. I don't want to do it, but I kind of want to do it. I kind of want to fucking do it. That's the goddamn truth. Um, I want to see what the ragdolls look like. I want to see what the blood is like. I want to just have the experience. I want to have the feeling. I don't know why. Not in real life, of course, but in a game, it's like, oh, I want to try it. I want to see what would it be like? What would it be like? You know, and games let us do that. And I think it's fascinating. And then I'm like, well, I don't want to do it, though. And I'm like, is it because I'm on camera? Is it because I'm on a video? And I'm like, what if I turn off the fucking uh, camera and do it on my own? If I wasn't making a video, would I want to do it? And I'm like, yeah, maybe I would. Maybe I would. So then I'm just like, fuck it, fuck it. I'm gonna do it. I wanna fucking make the worst level I can. I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be Adolf, I'm gonna do the, wor the worst thing I can imagine. I'm gonna be Adolf Hitler. And, uh, oh God, no, a gay club. I really We're gonna win. We're gonna keep winning. We're gonna win at military. We're gonna win at safe. We're gonna. I just, I just. Could I do it? When I'm on the phone with my sister, you can imagine. <laughs> it's just, uh, Adolf oh. Hitler. Fucking I'm just gay. telling you this. Oh, what good. is this? Uh, it's so weird. I'm not gonna do it. I couldn't do it even when I turn off the thing. I'm really not it's just so fucking weird, though. It's so fucking weird that I feel like... I mean, I blow people's heads off in games all the time. Good. In this case... Just not gonna do it. Oh, let it go. Totally surprised. I thought... I thought I would. There you go. That's, uh... That's this game called, uh, Jesus Strikes Back and, uh, Judgment Day. I sport it. 
I support it. Everybody has a right in America to express their views no matter how horrible, especially when they're horrible like this and offensive and terrible. Uh, as long as it doesn't lead to actual violence. Um, but good God, what a nightmare. What a hate we have to deal with. We are so broken. I'll see you.